Greetings, whiskey folk, and welcome to the official Dram Association unbottling of the Glen Allocky 10 Cask Strength Batch 8. A very exciting whiskey, a whiskey that we're not really meant to have. It's not supposed to be released yet or here. It was supposed to be for a special release elsewhere later, later in the year, but, um, well, sometimes shit happens. <laughs> and now we have it, and we get to release it early for our members. Very exciting. So, why is this particularly exciting? Well, this is a bit of a cult favourite right now. This has a huge following. Uh, people trying to pick up every edition of this whiskey. Um, this is not the first time we've had Glenalki 10 here at the Strath. We've had, I think it was Batch 2 back in the early days. Um, you know, it was, it was pretty well received. Um, but it wasn't until Batch 4 that all of a sudden it took off. And that's because it won the best whiskey in the world at the, uh, or rather best single malt whiskey, I should be specific. Best single malt whiskey in the world at the World Whiskey Awards in 21. Um, uh, this is Batch 8, so there's been four iterations. And from what I understand, they've just basically been trying to up their game every single batch. Uh, everyone's been very excited about the Glenarchy 10 cast strength ever since that number four, and every batch seems to be knocking it out of the park. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited to try this one. I haven't. I think I I think the last one I tried was batch five a while ago. Now it's been a while since I've sampled the Glenarchy 10, uh, but it's certainly been a while since we've been able to get it at the Strath. It's been it's been poached by the government store for the longest time. So we're excited to have it back, um, and I'm even more excited to be able to share it with everyone because. The reason we're doing this unbottling is this is a Dram Association drop-in Dram for the month of April. And here's the big news, it's the free one. Yeah. So if you're a regular Dram Association member, you can come into the store and try the Glenallochy 10 cask strength for free at the Strath. Yep, you don't have to be a premium member for this one. We'll get to the premium one uh, in the next video. I'm, I'm excited about that one as well. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the freebie, uh, which is very cool. We have a bit of a theme going this month of strong cask-influenced whiskies, uh, single malts, that have had a bit of a tumultuous past and maybe some ownership changes. And that's certainly the case with the Glen Allocky. Um This was a bit of a, a bit of a unknown distillery until very recently, and that's because Billy Walker took over. Billy Walker, of course, uh, he, he's been in the industry for a long time. He's a veteran at this point, and he's very highly respected. Um, he's he's responsible for putting a lot of distilleries on the map, and Glen Alkey is the next in that, uh, in that tradition. And he seems to be in with them for the long run, though. He seems to be pretty attached to this one. Um, he doesn't just work for them. He, he owns them uh, with his uh, with his co-owners. Um, yeah, very exciting. So let's, first of all, let's take a look at the box, shall we? Let's see what information we can get. From the Valley of the Rocks, signed by Billy Walker, Master Distiller. Glenalachy from the Gallic Glenalachy. I assume, uh, meaning Valley of the Rocks. The geology here is dominated by ancient rock formations, not any old stone, not any old whiskey either. Um, Non-chill filtered, no colour added, and this one is, of course, cask strength, 57.2 ABV. So the logo is really, and I'll show you the bigger version on the side here, the logo is really growing on me. When I first saw it, I thought it was very... Um, weirdly cartoony, kind of like it belonged on a reboot of the Flintstones or something. But I'm getting used to it now, and it kind of it works with the whole rock thing. I'm 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 coming around. I'm coming around to the Nalaki Loco. I'm still not quite there. I'm not willing to say it's good, but I'm also not willing to say it's bad anymore. <laughs> um, the whiskey, however, is fantastic. More information on the sides here. When we took this hidden gem of a distillery into private ownership, we put our passion and dedication into every single bottle, winning us countless awards for our exceptionally crafted single malt. Under the guidance of legendary master distiller Billy Walker, the team has implemented a philosophy of wood innovation, sourcing the very best casks from across the world and constantly influencing the maturation journey. Ah, <sighs> you have... There's a lot of text on this. They're, they're really trying to tell you a story here. You have in your hand a bottle of Glenallachy Speyside single malt. That's Glenallachy. Nice pronunciation guide there, just in case. Because um, I have had people think it was Glenallachy. Um, or Glen, Glenallachy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Glenallachy. Uh, we are one of Scotland's few independent distilleries led by the iconic master distiller Billy Walker, who boosts over half a century's tenure in whiskey. Well, I didn't know that much. He's uh, outing his age there. Uh, with an exceptional passion for wood policy, Billy seeks out the world's finest casks to elevate the spirit to its optimum. Each cask held within our 16 on-site warehouses is frequently monitored and re-racked into different cask types until Billy deems that the perfect balance between the distillery character and influence from the wood has been achieved. 
we proudly present the Glen Allocky 10-year-old at natural colour, non-chill filtered and at cast strength of 57.2 to showcase the whisky in its purest form. Colour, intense rich mahogany, nose bursting with mocha, nutmeg and walnut oil with notes of heather, honey, sweet raisins and dried red berries. The taste, lashings of cinnamon spice, molasses and honeycomb, followed by ginger espresso and dark chocolate with hints of nutmeg and fennel on the finish. Well, that sounds delightful. Um, wait, I also have extra information about the cast, but let's crack into the bottle first, shall we? Now, as always happens, I don't know what it is about this, but any time I'm trying to take a Glenallachy out, it always snags on the little tab of the foil. So I'm actually going to take the, take the foil bit off first. There we, there we go. Oops, let's hold it off. All right. Because there we go. Nice and easy. Look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't that just lovely? What a colour. And that colour comes from the casks that I use, which, intriguingly, they don't mention on the bottle uh, what casks are used. Or on... <laughs> this, that's fun. They've even, they've even got text on the, on the little closing thing there. That's funny. Um... You have to go to the official website to find out, and I did. Um, I did find out what casks are bringing this colour, but I'll, I'll keep you guessing for a little while longer. Very nice. Hmm. Yeah. The first instinct was to say dried fruits, but they're not dry. They, they, they've been dried, but then they've been stewed. This is, this is mince meat. This is a mince pie. This is not just a dry raisin. This is a dry raisin that's been rehydrated with, you know, cognac and sugar. Hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Figs, dates, yeah, lots of those sort of classic Christmassy kind of fruits. There's a nice sort of Almost minty herbal note on the nose that I'm getting as well. It's quite pleasant. Hmm. And uh Yeah, what is that? That's a that's a there's a sharpness. It's like a plum maybe, or maybe it's sharper than a plum. Maybe like a cranberry. I'm going cranberry. Alright. Oh, there's no denying that that's cast strength. Oh. All right. I'm going to add a, a drop of water to that, because that is... It's not alcoholic. I mean, it is alcoholic. It's very alcoholic. It's, what was it, 62? 57. So 57.2. Um, but that's not the reason I'm going hua. The reason I'm going hua is because it's just so full-flavoured. It's a flavour bomb. And I think... It could do with a little, a little uh, bit of medicine, a little calming down. All right, let's see if that sedates you a little bit. Lovely. Ah, I just really, I feel like I'm teasing you in this video. There's an empty chair next to me. Sorry, there, there's no guest about to turn up. I, I'm, I'm sorry if the, if you're thinking that someone's going to pop out or you know Brett or Norm or someone. There's, there's no special guest today. I just left the chair there by accident. <laughs> Mm, yeah, a little spicier now. You're getting a little bit more of that clove, nutmeg, um, cherry on the nose after water. Oh, that's better. It's really... It's sometimes easier, even just a couple of drops of water will let the, the flavours not necessarily mellow, but, like, refract a little bit. So you can actually tell what's going on, and it's not just a, a bombardment of flavour. Mm. So it's a lot of the similar notes that you get on the nose with an addition of a more um, oily nuttiness as well. I'm getting pecans, maybe, maybe Brazil nuts, something along those lines. Um, seeds. It's, uh, yeah, it's like a, a weird hybrid between a, b between a poppy seed bagel and a mince pie. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Very pleasant though. And you know, honestly, this style of whiskey is, is very popular right now, and I can definitely understand why this whiskey is getting a lot of praise. Um 
as so, yeah i mean it's it's very much in the same area uh, as like the Avalar Abenard or you know things things like that the big big bold cast strength space sides with a lot of sherry influence um something maybe like the glen farkless 105 but what they're missing that this has is an age statement and also what they're missing that this has is billy walker to be a little bit more precise and uh a little choosy when it comes to his casks. Um, what casks? I, I promised I, I had some extra information for you. So this is from the official website. Um, uh, this is specifically for the Batch 8. Uh, it's a marriage of whiskey from Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso Sherry Punchins, along with a small quantity of virgin oak and Rioja casks. Now, I, I haven't gone through and looked at all of the makeup of the previous versions. I don't think they've used Rioja casks before. I think that's a I think that's a new addition for this batch. Works really well. That's probably where I'm getting those sort of cranberry notes from. I would uh, I would hazard a guess. Let's see. Yeah, I can balance the lid. It's lovely. Extra branding. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this, this is very pleasant. I, it gets my seal of approval, but don't take my word for it if you live here in Victoria. You can come and try this at the Strath. And of course, even if you can't come and try it, it's a featured whiskey right now in the Dram Association, so all 1,200 Dram Association members can get this at a special price. Regularly, it is $139.91. And that special price is, of course, 10% off. $125.92. 125 bucks and 92 cents. So 126 give or take. That's uh, a great price for a cast strength, sh strongly sherry influenced, um, official bottling, 10 year old space side. It just, there's, there's no doubt about it, that is a bargain for this style of whiskey. Um, and we have a decent amount. So yeah, um, this, this isn't going anywhere. However, the sale price is limited. So don't worry, there's probably still be some of this available in a couple of months. But you won't be able to get it at 10% off. So get it now while you can at the discount. And uh, yeah. Uh, gets my seal of approval. This one, I'm I'm very happy with the Glenallachie Ten Batch Eight. I think uh, it might be the best I've had so far. And I, yes, I did try the four. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's just that little sharpness wasn't there in the old ones, from what I recall. And I, I like that. I think that might be the Rioja. I, I see what you're doing there, Billy. That's uh, that's a uh, Smooth move, Billy Walker. Smooth move. All right. Sludge of art. I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.